Before we get started on this video, I wanted to let you know that this car is going to be sent to be auctioned off for a fundraiser for a fellow customizer who is going through cancer right now. All of the information is in the description if you'd like to help out. It is a, it is a very good cause and uh, I think it is worthy of supporting. So anyway, on to the video. <laughs> Okay, we've got an interesting specimen here. It took me a long time to identify what type of uh, Hot Wheels this was because the paint has been almost completely stripped off. I've never seen this in the wild before. I've never seen one that had the, uh, the paint almost completely off. I have no idea how some kid did it. It's off the, the chrome's off the base too. So this went through, almost looks like it went through like a, a sander or a tumbler or something. But ended up, it is a, there's a Torino Stalker. Uh, they made it in a red line for one year and then it was a black wall. And I'm pretty sure, in fact, I'm, I'm pretty much positive that this is one of the black wall versions. They made it in red and black, and you can see little bits of black paint still in it. So anyway, my plan with this one is I'm not going to try to restore it, uh, or I, I could turn it into a red line if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to practice spectra flaming because I got some spectra flame paint from the red line shop. I really want to try it out. I've got some uh, Sweet 16 cars that I want to Spectra Flame, but I want to practice first. So this guy is going to get Spectra Flamed red and we'll upgrade his wheels and we'll fix up his base and we'll make his windows all nice. It's going to look like a sweet muscle car when we are done. But uh, I've never seen one like this. Have you ever seen a car out in the wild with all the paint removed? That is crazy. Well, step one is to uh, remove these rivets and get them taken apart. This is a plastic base, so I need to be extra careful. I don't believe I need to punch these because we already got a dimple. So we'll just go for it and hope for the best. I started using my handheld drill because I've noticed that I have a little bit more control with this than I do with the drill press. Let's see if it's ready to pop off yet. Got to be careful with these plastic bases. That's good. Let's see about the front. Yeah, the front needs a little bit more help. That should do it. There we go. Okay, so typical plastic base. These wheels should come right out. Let's see if they'll come out now. So we're going to replace them. And there we go. There's one. Glass is in pretty bad condition. It's green, but it's actually looks like it's yellowed. So it's, uh, I mean, it's blue. It's blue, but it looks like it's yellowed some, so it's turned green. I've never seen that before either. Don't know if there's anything I can do about that. I can shine it up to the best of my ability, but I don't know if I can make it blue again. Interior and the engine, it's dirty. Huh, it's only got one seat. I wasn't expecting that. But that'll clean up nice, no problems. We'll keep it black. Okay, so yeah, see this used to be black. Okay. So what I need to do is uh, polish this up to see how bad it is and then I Probably gonna want to zinc plate it. So that'll be fun. I've never done that before on this channel. So uh, let's get to work on this body. I think, I think I'll put it in the stripper for a little while. We do have some little pieces here and it would be a pain to try and get all this off by hand when dunking it in the stripper tank. We'll take care of it. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I wash it off and then I just quickly hit it just the tip of this hood with my um, polishing wheel. And it's polishing up really well. So I think I'm going to polish it up next just to see how it looks 
and uh, we may not need to zinc plate it. So we're about to find out. Okay, I polished it just enough to be able to tell what needs to be done. It's very shiny now. What a transformation already. But um, there is some pitting back here, so that's going to need to be sanded. And there's some more up there. A few little little tiny things that are problems. And uh, so I'm going to sand those out. That means that we will probably will need to... Oh, I saw a spot I want to get while I'm thinking about it. Means it's likely that zinc plating would be helpful. We got a couple dings. And all those things will show up. And I think, if I understand it right, I've never... I've zinc played things before. I've never zinc plated a car, uh, a Hot Wheels car. I believe that will it will help hide some of this stuff after I sand it, if there's anything left. So I'm going to sand this up. I'm going to start with a 600 and move my way down. And I will show you the finished result because sanding is boring. Now there are a lot of ways to zinc plate. And this is just the way I do it. It works really well for me. I've never done a die cast car before, but I've done plenty of other things. And I'm not going to go into the details of how I do it because there's tons and tons of videos for that online. But um, if you want me to go into it, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video of that. Uh, my way is pretty simple. I think I used $15 worth of equipment to get started. The uh, only real trick is that you want to use a very low voltage. So I use a, a D battery. It's 1.5 volts. And you want to do it in short bursts. So I'll leave it in here for about 15 minutes. Take it out. Go over it with uh, steel wool. Put it back in. And that will happen three or four times. And that always gets me good results. So anyway, it's already starting to bubble. So we'll check back in a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. So when it comes out, it's all gray and not very cool looking. But all we have to do is hit it with some steel wool and it shines right up. Looks great. Now I'm not touching it with this hand because I don't want to get oils on it because I'm going to dip it back in and do a couple more treatments. But uh, yeah, this really looks nice. While I'm doing this, I want to talk about my subscribers and I want to thank my 57 subscribers as of today. My channel has had a great growth this month. I'm really pleased with it. If you'd like to help it grow, I think the best way to help would be to share it on different forums or sites that have people that might enjoy this sort of thing. Uh, I don't know all of them. I've, I'm part of a few of them and I post to some of them, although a lot of them don't like self-promotion, so that's why you, know, you doing it would be better. But whatever the case, even if it's just watching, I appreciate that. Thanks to all my subscribers, especially the ones that comment. You guys are great and help me keep going. Okay, I have polished this car and degreased it. It is ready for the Spectra Flame. And there's a few little spots that you can see. There's particularly right in there, there's a pit. And really, it's deep, so deep that it needs putty. But since we're uh, Spectra Flaming it, I can't use primer, um, so I can't use putty. And there's a few other spots. I mean, if you look closely, you can see some up in here. And all of these will show in the final. And there's some dings on the side, just from play. Not a whole lot I could do about that. I was sandy to the point where I was afraid I was going to lose some of my uh, details into the casting. Um, you don't want that. But anyway, it is shiny and uh, ready to be painted. I'm really excited about trying this Spectra Flame. All right, so here we're ready to spray this guy. I'm going to be using this Spectra Color Paint from the Redline Shop. I've never tried this before, never even opened up a bottle. Have to add hardener to it. So let's get mixing. I'm eyeballing how much hardener to put in here. It's 
kind of hard to judge. We'll try with that. See what happens. Now I'm going to put my respirator on, so I'm not going to talk. Because this stuff is supposed to be not very good for you. While that paint's drying, this base needs some help. It's a plastic base, all the chrome's worn off. I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Pabio, or however you say it, artist marker, and uh, just re comb it back up. This should work real well and go really fast. Okay, so the base turned out pretty good. I mean, it's plenty shiny as you can see. I can kind of blind you there. Uh, might have been better if I'd sprayed it, but um, it's definitely good enough. Okay, so next is gonna be the glass. It's pretty foggy. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some uh, polish on it. I've had some really bad experience with Pledge recently. So, hmm. I don't know, we'll see after it looks if I need to use Pledge or not. It's got this yellow. It looks green because it's yellowed. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. That's a molecular change. This Novus plastic polish is pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so I didn't get the yellow out, but I did get it cleaned up. You can read through it. See if I can focus, you'll be able to read through it. There you go. That's pretty much my standard. It's making it so that it's see-through. I mean, there's still some, some gouges in it, but nothing's going to fix that. And I really, from any distance at all, like I'm holding it out at normal working uh, length, and I can't see any. Just on your screen, it's it's giant because I'm zoomed in, but that's that's pretty good actually. It's just one bigger scratch right there, but it's not terrible. So all we have left is the interior, which is really dirty. So I'm just gonna quickly wash it out, and I'll be right back, and it's gonna be all nice and clean. Okay, so we have all of our pieces here, ready to go. We're just waiting for our body to arrive. Oh wait, what do I hear? Here it comes. Oh boy, look at that. Let's see if I can adjust the camera so you can appreciate it a little bit better. Oh, this red line Spectre Flame paint from the red line shop. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. I was so impressed on how smoothly and how easily it went on so some of the easiest paint i've ever worked with once you get once you follow the directions it works so well look how the depth i don't know if it'll show up on the camera but in real life it was just amazing now i did have a couple problems remember the one pit in the back here of course it's going to show up and uh, i had a piece of dust right there that really it annoys me. You know, every little every little spot on this thing that uh, you don't make perfect on the casting is going to show up. The little spots back here that were from play, you know, they're going to show up. But at a, at any distance and on a shelf, this just looks amazing. Remember, this is blown up super big onto your. Onto your screen. Very pleased with how this turned out. It is beautiful. Okay, so it is time to put this guy back together. Should be pretty easy. Just using some self tapping screws here. Got these from the Red Line shop also. They're amazing. 
Well, guys, I cannot express how pleased I am with this car. I mean, I think the wheels look great with it. Oh, it just, it just looks awesome all the way around. You can see my hand in the reflection. Look at that. <laughs> it is so cool. Oh, it looks so good. If you remember, this is the before and now the after. And I am very pleased with the Spectra Flame paint. You're going to see more of that in builds in the future for sure. This is going to look beautiful on my shelf. Uh, if I can stand and not play with it and not bring it around and show it to all my friends. I've already showed it to some of my friends. Because <laughs> it looks so cool. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>